a very good morning everyone of you. So I wish you a happy Dasra to uh, one and all. So today we are going to see how to verify your uh, review work for the general. Okay, generally as a peer reviewer, you will perform some reviews to the uh, general as a uh, as a service. So that services we can just uh, count on our, on our profile in the Publons website or Web of Science website. We can say earlier it was the Publons website. Now it was the uh, Clarivate Analytics Web of Science services. So under that one, we can verify our reviews, whatever the services we have rendered for for the journals. OK, whatever the scientific journals we are reviewing for, we can. Uh, we can count on that one. So how to do that one? I will show you the procedure how to do uh, that peer review work that can be. Submitted to the Publons website. So here after you submit your manuscript. So after you submit your manuscript, so this type of message will be generated. That is thank you for reviewing the manuscript. That is with some ID of the manuscript we will be getting that one. Then you will get a mail confirmation mail from the general office that you have submitted the article, uh, submitted the review. So that is thank you for the review of this article. So like that they will be giving to you. OK, after getting that uh, thank you message. So you just go on type this Publons. Publons. So here you can uh, just click on the Publons website. So earlier it was the Publons, which is also under the Web of Science only, but now they have changed the domain name as HTTPS double slash access dot clarivate dot com. So it's a clarivate analytic business, so they have changed to this one. So in a matter of uh, 10 seconds, it will be directed as to the Web of Science like this type of setup. Here you can uh, log in here. So already I have uh, log in here. We're using my profile or otherwise freshly you can log in here or register. If you are new to that one, you can register to the Publons website or the Clarivate Analytics website. So I, I have been using my RC ID itself. So original researcher ID itself to log in in any website. Uh, no matter it is a general website, scientific general website or the Publons website or the Web of Science website, whatever it may be, we can use a single ID that is a uh, RC ID for any type of things. So after you uh, get in here, so here uh, there will be a my profile section. So here you can verify your profile. OK, what is your profile? So whether you are an academy graduate or not. So myself, I have been an academy graduate in the peer review process. So they have provided me with a certificate that I have certified peer reviewer for the generals. So like that. So all the uh, information, OK, how many publications are there in the web of science and everything uh, you can get it here. OK, uh, I have uh, eight publications in web, web of science right now, but it is not showing here, but everything will be shown in this particular website. How many publications are there? For example, let us see. So four is the H index. So the count is very less uh, right now, but the Google profile or the caller profile or the Scopus profile is showing more number of citations and more number of publications, but uh, some of the publications are not visible here. Uh, maybe I don't know why it is. So 70 times it is it has been cited and 70 sum of times, uh, 71 sum of times it has been cited and four is my H index. Then eight uh, publications in the Web of Science are there for me. What is my affiliation? What are my organizations? What are my identifiers? And how many different type of Web of Science core collection uh, manuscripts are there for me? So everything will be given here. So these are all uh, secondary. Now our primary goal is to how to verify your review. So to verify your review, you just go on to uh, this profile section. Under the profile section, my records will be there. In the my records, there are peer reviews. So you just click this add button. So after clicking this add button, you will be just prompted to this uh, uh, general or conference, this tab here. So you just type your verified review that is uh, general. Uh, I have been verified. Uh, reviewer for this general. So after typing this one, you just select uh, whatever the general you have uh, um, done a peer review. Then you just type what uh, uh, on which date you have performed your peer review. 
So uh, right now I have performed one peer review for this one. That is uh, the same date I have entered here. Then you just uh, go on to uh, type this one. So this is all not will be there. PubMed ID, DOI and everything. Since this is a pre-publication peer review, so we cannot have that one. So if the general consent is there, we can add our peer review content. So we have written some comments on the manuscript. So all this we can write here. Then after writing here, you just select here whether this should be this peer review should be visible on your profile or not. If you do not show this, if you choose this one, do not show this review on my profile. It will not be shown to other members. Whereas for you, it will be shown. If you choose this one, show publisher only. Only, uh, for example, if you are performing a review for the elsewhere, that elsewhere publisher or Springer, the Springer will be shown. Or ACS, ACS will be shown. If you are choosing this one, general or conference means uh, general title to which gender or to which conference you have performed a peer review, they will be showing you. Then next one is a show general conference and article title means everything general or conference and article title, including that one also, uh, it will be shown to the others. So that's the four different choices here. I usually select to uh, go with this third option that is show general or conference. Then you just click on the uh, create review. OK. Once you just click on the create review. So here if you see. So here some uh, uh, something like a copy uh, your review process, whatever it is there, that copy type of thing, it will be shown here. Then go to your um, mail ID where you have got this thank you uh, for a review message. So that one you just click on that one and you forward that one. You click on the forward. And whatever you copied that you just paste here. Okay, for example, right now uh, that review has been already verified. That's why it is not showing to me. Why? Because uh, today morning itself I have verified that review. So for example, let us say this is my copied code. This copied code. I have to just go there. This copied code. So means not this one, this one. So whatever the mail I have to forward that one. So here under the forward message, you have to copy that code and paste there. And you just click on the reviews at the rate of, at the rate webofscience.com. Earlier uh, I used to submit to this one reviews at the rate of publos.com. Now this they have revamped that website to the reviews at the rate of webofscience.com. So click on that one and just click on the send. Only you have to forward the message that has been received from the general uh, general like thank you for the review. So this you just forward to that one like this. That's it. So after forwarding that one, so within a few seconds you will be receiving an mail uh, with a confirmation that you have submitted for the review verification process like uh, hi Zakir. Thank you for using Web of Science review verification. We are sending this message in response to your submissions to reviews at the rate of webofscience.com that you can see at the bottom of this mail. We are now processing your review, means they are processing my review and your review. My review is at 6474th in the queue, means 6474th in the queue. It is there, so it will be usually taking 6 to 12 hours to the process of your mail. They are sending like this, but it will be usually See whatever now I have sent now so that I have received a fresh mail to that one. The same thing that will be written here that you will be under the queue. So my reference number will be given here so we can check through our Publons uh, or the Web of Science website there easily. Easily we can uh, verify there. So whether my review has been verified or not. So all this we can easily verify our review. That's what like this you can uh, choose on to verify your reviews um, in the Web of Science website. So this will carry you some weightage during the promotions and everything as an assistant to associate, associate to professor or during your applications and everything. So the services which has been rendered to the generals are very much uh, trackable and gauge So since you are leveraging your scientific knowledge to the particular uh, benefit of a community, scientific community, so that will be gauged well and that will be rewarded to you. So no matter what, whatever it may be. Elsewhere, for example, let us say it will reward you with a uh, uh, reward you with a certificate 
okay with a certificate of reviewing at the same time they will provide you access with uh, 30 days free uh, scopus subscription okay so uh, scopus articles you can freely read that one so 30 days free subscription will be given to the scopus database so for example let us say you have to go to the reviewer hub here reviewer hub so whenever you you will be prompted to this uh, reviewer hub and there i already uh, signed in using my profile OK, there you can see. So how many reviews have you performed or uh, what are your rewards? OK, everything. So like, for example, let us say so this is the rewards. So see, I have used the access to this elsewhere research tools. The one day is remaining. So on the next day, I will just choose this one and uh, access this 30 days free trial. OK, uh, I have performed many reviews for the journals, so that's why they will be giving you uh, giving me the 30 days uh, free access to the Scopus database. So uh, this is a wonderful experience for me so that I can read many articles from that one. So other reward is that certificate they will give. So recognition certificate this many journals I have performed a review. So in the LC, elsewhere category, whereas other ACS, Tyler and Francis, Stringer and everything, that's a different website. For the elsewhere generals, only these four generals I have performed a review. So I can download this re recognized review certificate from here. OK, all this you can do that one. So. Yeah, so all this are the generals which has been reviewed my review history that is. And Scopus profile and everything I can change through that one. OK, easily. OK, so that's what uh, you have a wonderful benefit whenever you are, uh, you are recognized as a peer reviewer for the general. So thanks for watching. Thank you very much.